Well, hello, good morning, and welcome to my Festive Beano 2017. It's the 5th of December, and it's oh, 35 hours Zulu time. It's dry, it's cold, but it's calm, and there's no frost. And I'm off to Birmingham. There is a hashtag, hashtag BRM17. This will be the Bacon Beano. Well, it's 5.21. Newport train station's programmed into ways. It's still dry, it's still cold. And if I want a parking space, I'd better get on with it. And I'm listening to... So, so that Wake up to money. Because we know there can be no final I have got podcasts as well. Anyway. Yeah, and that. T minus one minute. And there's already a queue. Well, I'm not raining. I'm not freezing. Which is good. So, we're on. Starting with a half. Tinsel toes. By Woodford's 4.4% alcohol by volume. Bit of carpet for Mr. Manning. Um, ruby ale, festive ale. Mmm. Mmm. A little thin, but that's probably because it's a little bit cool. Oh, I like that. Hoppy and malty. I'm going to say B-plus in a bit. And moving on. That building used to be the entrance to the station. Now it's across the road and to the left. Anyway, John Wallace Linton. Here we go. So I got my spot back. And we're drinking something from the Rumley Brewery. Oh, it says Dowless, but I know they didn't buy Napham. Maybe an old pump clip. This is Gift Horse, 4.5% alcohol by volume. And I think this will probably be it until I go to the train station. Creamy and fruity, maybe? A little bit malty. A hint a bit of finish. I'm going to get hammered for this, but I'm going to give it B plus in a bit. Because I quite like that. You know who you are. Fantastic. It's a strange thing. Plus, you have to go up and go here and cross it. I think I'm on platform three. It's a lot of intro. Moving on, as they say. That way I came. And we're not going that way because that's not thing. And this. New Street. While I'm staying there, there's an Apple store there, uh, German things there, and security there. And there's the ball ring building. I'm off to Tilt for beer. Well, here's Tilt, and it's a there's a cold wind here, and it's colder than back home. But I am abroad because abroad begins at Office Dyke. Quality coffee. This is Lovig, tasty juice, six percent, double dry hot citra, milky as hell. Does it say six percent? It is six percent. Smells fruity, hoppy. Mmm. Slightly sharp. Not quite a fruit bomb. Getting more sort of hops in it. The B plus plus. Ah, move round the corner to the pinball area. And this is something of a institution. Coming to Birmingham, drinking brewing by numbers. This is 55. Pipe. 06. Darts and Mosaic DIPA, 8.2% alcohol by volume. <clears throat> Smells like a fruit bomb. 
and completely tastes like a fruit bomb. B plus plus. Retold. Dear Mr. Manny, I think this is real wooden flooring. I'm not sure. Anyway, back to Norway. This is a collab, Lovig from Spravanger, Norway, with Magic Rock. Yeah, from Huddersfield or something like that. This is called Rustic Farmhouse IPA, 6% alcohol by volume. Mmm, -hmm. this smells slightly sour. Oh, really tart. Almost a saison, but a sharp saison. I quite like that actually. Completely different. I'm going to give that a B plus plus for being completely different. Thank you. I have some lunch here. It's 14.37. So a bit late. Anyway, square peg. Okay, this is a square peg and it's completely and utterly packed. This is um, Evil Elf by Rudgate, 4% alcohol by volume. It says fruity and biscuity. And guess what? It's fruity and biscuity. Well, from Mr. Manning, I give it a big plus. I was hoping it wouldn't be quite as packed, but you know. That's like, you might have to use the app to get the food. This is Birmingham. Birmingham has milds. That's a carpet for Mr. Manning. This is dark mild by Highgate, 3.4% alcohol by volume. You might think, not very alcoholic. I say good. Because milds are like that, and I love milds. No real aroma. Oh, that could just be my nose. Ooh. That's sort of fruity and malty at the same time. B plus. 